Hoover 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Edna. Mr. Corleone, what can I do for you? Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown! Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile notions. You mock notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well... Fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. Majestic arms. Transients welcome. Well, they don't get more transient than me and Doc. Majestic arms. Transients welcome. Well, they don't get more transient than me and Doc. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Hey, who did burn down Tannen's original speakeasy anyway? I still don't know. I'd really like to find out before we go home. Why are Tannen's always such jerks anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. I never did get a straight answer about why he came back to 1931 in the first place. It's, uh, personal. When this is over, I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. Doc, Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Ah! I know. Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. 
If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. That old Biff will never... Paradox City. Got it. I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost the nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Can you explain all this? I'm confused. It's very simple. In the original timeline, timeline... ...and A, the speakeasy arsonist was never caught, creating one of Hill Valley's enduring historical mysteries. Okay. When I traveled back to 1931, I created Timeline B, in which I was misidentified as the arsonist and subsequently killed by Kit Tannen's goons. Einstein came with me, and somehow he ended up in the DeLorean when its failsafe mechanism triggered, sending it back to 1986. Which is where I came in. Precisely. You traveled back to June 14, 1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kit Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served with a subpoena. And shot by Kid Tanner's goons. Yes. So you jumped back in time six hours, creating Timeline D, saving your grandfather's life, but somehow preventing Kid Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannins were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, creating Timeline E, in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tannen to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. Good. One question. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. Should we be worried about your younger self and Ender Strickland? That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Okay. I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Grandpa Artie's pipe. You know, I could barely remember Grandpa from when I was a kid, but this smells like him. Heavy. Hey boy, take a whiff of this. Gotta love that nose. I've been laying low, officer, but I've gotta go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good.
Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that! I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y! I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, anyway, you want to pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I can't take more than a five-minute break. Get him to come here. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Break a leg out there. Thanks. news it's rage i'm overflowing i've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too they tell me that there's not a thing i can do there's no consoling Danny. and there's no Ooh. controlling this rage i guess I'm now i know why you won't arrest tanny you're working for him there you go daytime trust me things will get better just keep listening to the music why none of the words help anymore <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Volcanoes blow the tops and tidal waves crest. But there's a you know, drinking that much is really rest. bad for your health. There's something what are you, my mother? My chest. More like it's future rage. grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, I'm like God. A on a stage. You're a lion in a cage full of hey, kid. Rage. What is it, squirts? I'm overflowing with rage. How long have you and Trixie been going out? Me knocking boots? Oh, about a year now. That's a long time. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model, but then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? Free nightclub entertainment! <laughs> it's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento were starting to get worried. With all due respect, the boys down in Sacramento can bite me. When that creepy Sagan guy burned down my speakeasy, did the Sacramento boys lift a finger to help me back on my feet? No. Well, and when that weasel accountant McFly went and blabbed to the feds, did the Sacramento boys help me get rid of the evidence? No. But I had to put three more cops on my payroll to pull that one off. Okay, but... But nothing. When you get back to Sacramento, you let J.J. Valenti know that Kid Tannen expects a little more respect for his efforts in the future. Understand? No problem, kid. That's a nice place you got here. Ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. If you ever do dumb Trixie, hey, uh, could I go out with her? Knock yourself out, Shrimpo. When Kid Tannen's finished with the broad, he's D-U-N done. See ya, kid. Yeah, whatever.
gone crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I, am I shouldn't bother her while she's singing. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If you ever do I'm dumb happy, Trixie, hey, uh, could I go out with her? Knock yourself out, Shrimpo. When Kid Tannen's finished with the broad, he's D-U-N done. So jolly, yeah, See ya, kid. Carefree. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Danny. I don't care. You. If I do get the mean and stony stare. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. There you go. I don't Hang in there, Danny. Care. Oh, God. What's all this? These are my pamphlets, laying out in scientific detail the horrors visited upon those who succumb to the temptations of alcohol. Lost Fortnite? I am particularly fond of that one. It tells the true life tale of Johnny, who woke up in a pile of his own sick, completely unable to remember the previous two weeks of his life. Heavy. Actually, the pamphlets are quite light, see? Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure! Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight.
Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still parked. I really should give these lyrics to someone who could do them justice. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Break a leg out there. Thanks. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. Break a leg out there. Thanks. You should care. Much better song for her. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... <gasps> F-L-Y. You can't go to Arthur at the hotel, but he can't come here. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse -y. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Get up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. You should care. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. I think Trixie will have better luck with her new lyrics. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. You should care, you should care what people think of you. She's right. I a can turn my life around. Name, sure you can. Good name you know what? what? I used to be a good cop, and yeah, I've had a few bad breaks, possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car, but I'm a good man. Yeah, and all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was, and let the chips fall where they may. Alright, so now what? Now I wait. Wait for... the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. 